Uh, good morning, this is Groslin, and we are doing some testing this morning. Uh, this is upcoming PA MPC 2.07, and we're messing with death claws. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little bit late in getting this one out, mostly because this is, uh, I'm running into a lot of AI problems with death claws, and I'm trying to get things sorted out. But I wanted to kind of show you the kind of nonsense I was dealing with. So this is going to be an actual test. This isn't just war games for entertainment. This is watch things break and not work right. So let's start dealing with some stuff here. I've got, okay, the test batch files run, so I'm friendly. Believe it or not, it's 8 a.m. Let's get a death claw out there. Give him a couple seconds to boot his AI. Okay, we should be running now. And let me just double check that real quick. Yeah, I just took a look at the log. It's, we've we've got a running death claw. It's AI. Okay, so let's get Codsworth over there, just sort of hanging out. He's going to be taking part in this as well. We're going to do a very, this is a very simple garden variety raider. Nothing fancy. He's going to die fast. Let's see what the death claw does. Yeah, that's about right. Part of the problem I'm finding with the DC AI is that we're getting caught into these little decision loops, uh, especially in the com especially in the combat. Um, it's one of the problems you have w with with any FSM system, but it's what ends up happening is you end up with lots of little little individual decision machines, and you can very easily end up where machine A points to machine B, points to machine C, points to machine A, and we just get locked into a decision loop. And I've been running into those. So let's throw another let's throw another raider. First mistake, last mistake. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Now let's give him something a little more challenging to deal with. Oh, now it's oh. man, you picked the wrong fight. Okay, let's pause there, right there. I want to show, I want to point out something that that you just saw. Uh, one of the changes I'm making in 2.07 for death clause is that they're no longer if if their current target has less health than the last time they checked, they will continue they they will continue pummeling that one target. Uh, before they would simply retarget to whoever was the weakest. So these death claws would be much more likely to finish off whoever they're tar whoever they're getting damage against. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. Um that's Yeah, they're now fighting Codsworth. No, I don't want one rigor. I want one our DC one other DC.
There we go. Oh, okay, I thought we were gonna get the... the... Yeah, that was a ranged attack. We've added ranged combat styles for Death Claws now. So... They're now going to be more apt to throw things if they can't get a can't get a melee distance. As you can see, they're still getting stuck in places. I can't do anything about that. Or at least, if I can, I have no idea what I can do about that. He's just stuck on the collision. Let me just get rid of that. There you go. See, and this is... They're just running away now. I, I don't know what's doing this. That Normally I would call it a GTO, GTFO maneuver, but I pulled all the GTFO code out. So... That is some artifact of the vanilla system at work. Okay, and that's the hiccup. And you hear the roar, 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 roar. I think that's, I, th I think that's one of those decision chain loops that I was talking about. Again, I don't know exactly what's causing that. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's throw some more out here. The range attacks are working well. They don't do a huge amount of damage, but... Okay. It kind of no matter what I do with the AI, the death, cla the death claw is still going to be pretty vulnerable to a group of legendary raiders with shotguns. Um, let run again. Yeah, this Raiders just got this little than the other one. I'll give this little cauldron of death right here. So once the once the death claw gets in the middle of that, it has no idea what to do, and I don't know. There's a huge amount of things I can do to stop that, or that I want to. He's running away again. Where is he? All I can think is that's the cover search. Um, it's for the death claw seeking cover. That's the only thing I can I can think of. I mean, I thought that was straight GTFO, but again, I pulled that code out, so that pretty much has to be him just seeking cover. All right, as we walk through the sea of body parts, let's run our death claw.
I'll run a few more of these and then we'll call this video done. I did tweak responses to Molotov cocktails. And I think I'm going to add a response to, to grenades as well. One of the things I really want to do, what I'm trying to do with the Death Claw is I want him to be continuously moving. Um, I want the Death Claw combat to be basically almost constant evasion. Because it's such an advantage for Death Claws to be able to move quickly and just slam. Um, Let's throw another batch of legendary raiders and then we'll spawn whatever whatever death claws we need to deal with them and then we'll call this a video. First mistake, last. But yeah, what I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do in terms of like the Molotov response is is make them back away. So the Raiders are trying to just Molotov them from the closed space. That will push them back into an evasion. Again, I don't know why he loves this spot. But he does. I thought this was GTFO, and it's not because the GTFO code is completely pulled out. So it's got to be cover. Why are you still running away? So you see my pain right here. I, that's what I'm fighting with right now with Death Claws is a fine line between like tactical retreats and just randomly running away. So when I get that fixed, we'll probably see, we'll probably get, be closer to a 2.07. Um, but that's what we're doing right now. We're working on Death Claw AI. And what I do with these videos, or what I do with these tests, is when I see weird behavior, I'm, ru I'm running the, debu the debug log and hopefully try to glean. See, it's, 
That's it. They only do it when they're just about dead. That's a GTFO maneuver. There's no GTFO code in your script. Why are you doing that? Anyway, that's where we're at right now. Uh, this is Grayslin, and stay tuned. And I might do another one of these videos if you know if I've got any hair left after pulling out you know what I've got. Uh, hope you're having a good morning, and I'll talk to you soon. Grayslin out. Bye.